I don't do this much. Actually, since I came back to YouTube over a year ago now, I haven't really done this at all. Um, it's not like it used to be. You know what I mean? Like back then, this was a, such a different thing uh, generally. Uh, all right. I guess I'll talk about it. Uh, it's. I guess I'm. I'm in a weird spot. Like I'm fucked up mentally, and I know I am. You know what I mean? It's. It's hard. It's hard. I won't say to be me, but to be in that headspace. I think that's that's the problem. It's. It's being in the headspace I'm in these days that's like really hard for me and I haven't really found a good way to deal with it and I, I guess a lot of times I deal with it by just sort of avoiding shit or just like not doing things that's my easiest way if I I get into this headspace and it's like I don't want to do I don't want to be around people I don't want to take care of my obligations I don't want to do anything I just want to be left alone and to me that's that's great for me because that means I can focus my mind on things I want to focus on. It's bad for me because that means I'm putting people, I'm pushing things out the way. I'm not doing what I probably should be. And that's on me. You know, that's, that's rough. That's fucking rough, man. I mean, it, it is what it is. Though. I, I can't really say much more than that. Uh, God, where do I even start with this? Shit. I don't want this to go on too long. Um, I guess I can, I guess I probably should talk about like why, right? Like why, why did Rezo Basso even come back? That's something I, I grapple with more and more as time goes on. You know, it's easy to look at my channel, to look at me, I guess is the better way to say it and go, oh, you know, Rezo's back, right? He, you know, he took a break. He deleted his channel and he came back. It's not that simple. I wish I wish it were so simple. I wish it were like that simple for me just to say, oh, hey, guys, I am back from my fucking, what, six, seven year hiatus or something like that. I basically just came back out of nowhere. That's not normal. Um, Why I came back, that's a different story. It's not as easy as just I wanted to come back. I didn't for the longest time. And if I did, it wasn't going to be as Rezo Basso. But that was also because at the time, I couldn't come back as Rezo Basso. For, at the time, that was not going to happen, no matter how badly I wanted it. But coming back as Rezo Basso would never, would never have happened for a variety of reasons. One... Uh, you got to kind of understand my headspace at that time. You know, at that time, I was an angry, upset, mentally just, I was, I was destroyed mentally. Uh, emotionally, I was a wreck. I was everywhere, but in the, I was, I was in every single mindset, but the mindset I needed to be in. And at that time, I just got so angry at, who I was at what I was doing at sort of the the ideal version of myself versus what I was getting that was that's always great you know there's nothing worse than envisioning yourself being amazing but what you see day to day isn't that you don't you're not seeing you're not seeing what you you envision you know and that's that's even harder you know, it's one thing to like to, to think something about yourself and see it. It's another thing to to think something about yourself and what you're seeing falls so far short of what you of what you think you should be seeing that it's it's fucking jarring. It's absolutely fucking jarring. I can't even fathom to explain what that was like for me back then. I think back then I wasn't I really wasn't well. Not not to say like not to say like every mistake I ever made was because I wasn't like well or my headspace wasn't right. That's not like I take responsibility for the fucked up shit I've done over the years. But I will say I did not delete my channel. How do I say this? It 
it, I wasn't in the soundest of mind. I'll say that much. And to put this into perspective, I deleted my channel, but like for the longest time, I never, I never uninstalled my capture software. I never uninstalled my video editor. I never uninstalled Photoshop. So many things that once I quit, I had no reason for, right? You would think that once I quit, once I was out of that creating mode, I would just shut that off and just move on. But for years, I couldn't. And I went by like a bunch of other names on YouTube actually throughout the years because I kept on trying to like, I was trying to prove something to myself and I hate myself for it because it, none of them worked. I never felt like I was hitting that flow. And there's reasons for that. I know why that was the case. It wasn't just a matter of like, you know, I wasn't the same person I used to be. It wasn't, it was, it was a variety of things, man. But I think the hardest part about like coming back now, the hardest thing about coming back now is knowing or just experiencing the fact that nobody you I used to roll with who wants to talk to me now. That's the hard part. That's the fucking that's the the knife in the stomach and you twist shit. You know what I mean? Like nobody who used to roll with me wants anything to do with me. They want they want to separate themselves so bad from me. And that that kind of hurts. And in some you know, in some cases I get it. You know what I mean? Like in some cases, I understand. You know, I don't I don't fault them for. Some of them moved on. Some of them still hold grudges against me. And again, my fault. I'm not saying I'm not to blame, but some of them just they don't they don't really want me around. You know what I mean? Like I came back and I wasn't I mean, I never looked for like a handout or nothing. I'm just saying it'd be not it was it was something I was like, yo, I'm back. You know, I'm back in this game. I'm here to grind this shit out. I'm here to retake some lost ground. You know what I mean? A little, support, you know, just a just a, just something. You know what I mean? Just hey, man. You know what? I'll keep an eye out for you. You know, we'll see. We'll see what you pull off. We'll see what you do while you back. Ain't nobody gave a shit. And that's that's the fucked up part, man. People who you think are down. And like I, I, I blame myself for this. This is my fault because if if res if the site had done better, if I hadn't have just quit, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is my fault. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a tough pill for me to swallow. I think I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to really take that pill as a creator. I think I think that's the hardest part. Is like it's trying to re is trying to is trying to show that you're still worth something when everybody you used to roll with wants nothing to do with you everybody you used to roll with has moved on or like they're still here but they ain't talking to me you know they act like I don't exist I'm a, I'm a blip you know, I'm a, I'm a washed up has been in so many of their eyes. And it's like, yo, I'm better than I was before. You know, I'm not that same guy. I've changed. You know what I mean? Like my, there's so much about my channel back then that was pure circumstance. It was not a choice. Uh, for instance, I had an image of being a rather family-friendly channel back then. It wasn't by choice. It was because I still lived at home and I couldn't really get away with having the sort of personality I really was. I couldn't do that because, you know, when you live at home, you can't really get away with that kind of shit. I couldn't. So, you know, you, you take what you can do and you try to roll with it. And that's the large reason why I didn't come back for so long. I lived at home for quite a while and... I really couldn't create like I wanted to. I couldn't I couldn't have that sort of space, that that space in my life where I could sit down and just create and not be bothered. Unlike these days where I can create all day long. If I want to create something, I can create it. I could do that now. You know what I mean? 
I think the worst part, the worst part of this, I'm not going to give any names because I don't want to do that to the person on the off chance they ever see this particular video and get upset with me for throwing them out there like that. I think the worst part was is I joined a Discord of someone I used to roll with. And as far as I know, like, ain't he, I don't think anybody, because there are a bunch of people who know me. Oh, all, all knew me, you know, and I, I never changed my name. So it was, I was pretty open about who I was, or at least at least from the surface level, right? Because I don't just go around saying, yo, I'm Rezo Bat. I don't do that. I, I just, I'm just me. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody knew, ain't nobody gave a shit. Not to say I'm someone worth giving a shit about, but like, you would think somebody would have been like, yo, it's been like six years, dude, where the fuck have you been? You know, well, what's going on? Ain't nobody gave a shit. And you know what, maybe that's my fault, right? Like, maybe, maybe my perception of myself is way more grand than what, like, at normal people's perception of me is right maybe maybe i fucked up so hard that like people just don't want to fuck with me and i acknowledge that you know what i mean like that's my fault that's entirely my fault i have no issue in just saying the truth that like you know i fucked up i probably i pissed a lot of people off uh between the website between quitting and all the stuff that came around and before it. And um, I guess if I had to, if I had to be honest, like, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I am. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry to everybody I worked with who I let down. Because I know for a fact some of you... Y'all can say, I know I know some of them have said they don't hold it against me, that, like, they're not mad anymore, but, like, I know they are. Because if I were in their shoes, I would be angry about it. You know what I mean? I would have taken it personally. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. So, I guess all I can really say to those people, to the people who used to work with me who don't want to fuck with me now to the people who the people who kind of stood by me and then I just went off the rails and just disappeared and just acted like a fucking nutcase I'm sorry I I really am sorry I don't think I'm ever going to be able to apologize and make up for the shit I've done and for the shit I put people through for those years I really don't think I am. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, I don't want to put people's names out there, but there was a friend of mine. We're still friends, but I'm sorry about the review. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sorry. You might not even care now, man, but I'm I'm sorry. That was my fault. You know, I fucked that up. All right. I'm the one that couldn't put that together. I'm the one who couldn't make that happen, even though it was my idea, even though I'm the one that put the effort into writing the script. You would think I would at least be the one to finish it, but I didn't do it. I'm sorry. You know, I am. And I'm sure I'm sure a lot of those people, man, are like seeing me come back is like it's probably not a great feeling because. It's like, who does this guy think he is to come back after all these years? And, I mean, I guess, um, God, I hate saying this. I hate putting myself in this situation because, like, it's not fun for me. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not fun. You know, I get it. <laughs> like, I do. I get it. I, I genuinely, I get it. You know, I messed up. Right? So, like, I shouldn't even be back. You know, I I came back because I'm, I have not, I don't know what else to do. Right? Like, if I'm not creating, if I'm not doing this if I'm not doing something 
that 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 keeps me going. If I'm not doing something that takes my mind off of the day to day shit I gotta go through, I go crazy. I'm like a dog who's tied up with nothing to do, man. You chew through your own fucking leg after a while. So, I'm sorry, guys. I really am. You know, to all the people I used to work with, I'm sorry you guys probably felt burned by what I did. That's my fault. And I apologize. To the handful of friends who probably felt like I was a nutcase and was bouncing off the walls, yo, I'm sorry. You know, I was I was in a bad headspace. I was going through some shit, and I probably should have just been honest with you guys and told you the truth. To the one friend of mine who I dropped the ball on a project that we were supposed to be working on, who probably still hasn't forgiven me, and probably on some level, he will never say it because he's too nice, and I hate that. I hate the fact that he's such a nice guy, and I did that to him. I am sorry. Someday, I hope I can show you that I'm actually not a complete screw-up and that I can follow through on something. I wish I can. <sighs> I guess business as usual, right? I mean, I don't got anything else, right? My my group of friends has dwindled down, I suppose, here on, to, on the creating side of things. I got nobody. You know, ain't nobody go answer my messages. Ain't nobody go answer my calls, so... I'm sorry. Uh, like it or not, I'm here. Like it or not, this this is it for me. I gotta do this. I gotta I gotta do it. So strap in, cause Rezo Basso ain't going anywhere. Cause I'll tell you all this right now, and this is the facts. If I disappear again, I ain't coming back. That, that is facts. Have a nice day.